Koan Fifty One, Pao Fu's Temple. One day, Pao Fu said to his monks, "When one passes behind the temple, he meets Chang and Li, but he does not see any one in front of it. Why is this? Which of the two roads is profitable to him?" A monk answered, "Something must be wrong with the sight. There is no profit without seeing." The master scolded the monk, saying, "You stupid! The temple is always like this." The monk said, "If it was not the temple, one should see something." The master said, "I am talking about the temple and nothing else." Nogan comments, "The temple is reality. When one faces it, he does not see anything. It transcends all discriminations." You may, for example, walk along with the crowd, not recognizing anyone and forgetting who you are. This is what Pao Fu refers to as the front of the temple. But the moment you see an acquaintance, nod and smile, or even stop to greet him, you are walking behind the temple. If during your meditation you create the image of a friend, you are not meditating but dreaming. Master Pao Fu is not scolding you for this. But he is showing you the trick of entering and leaving freely without clinging to either road. His question, "Why is this so?" is the answer. The monk had not entered reality, but had only rationalized about seeing and non-seeing. The monk clung stubbornly to the world of limitation and said, "If it was not the temple, one should see something. He should give up Zen and study law." Sun Shaku said. The world is characterized by mutability and impermanence. Those who do not rise above worldliness are tossed up and down in the whirlpool of passion. But those who know the constitution of things see the infinite in the finite, and the superphenomenal in the phenomenal, and are blessed in the midst of suffering and tribulation.